Welcome, welcome. So um, today I'm going to give a very quick tutorial, or not re really a tutorial, but a preview of what I'm currently working on for this particular project that I was testing out. And I want to reproduce this scrolling behavior with objects. And you can see I have several objects on the screen already to help me with that. But over here I have red bars, and I have them on the left and the right. And then I also have them at the top and the bottom of the screen and in the middle I have a black bar and above that I have an app bar which is going to um, serve as the entire size of the scene window that everything takes place so this is the actual size now you will see that the red bar is a regular square with the platform behavior and it is off and then I have the black bar with the draggable behavior and the platform or object button everything is unchecked under the platform object so that is where it's going to prevent the black bar from going left and right which is why it's on the side and the top and the bottom control how far it goes and let's go to my events and over here you can see that I have several different events for creating objects to place on the black bar and um, they're my they call info panels and they're gonna be on the slider link which um, does remind me that these are on different layers. It won't matter because the red bars are not going to be hidden. They're going to be hidden anyway. But the black bar is going to be on the slider layer, and the app bar is going to be on the foreground layer above that. All right? So it's very simple. Now, going back to my event sheet, you can see that I have several different objects, including info panels, um, on the slider layer, the size of the info panels and objects to create on the info panels. And speaking of the info panels themselves, there are specific points that I place on the info panels. And give me a moment to pull up the info panels right quick. Let me type it in. All right, that's info panel one. And when I go to edit points, you can see that I have three distinct points for the info panel positions and those are going to be for different objects that I want on that panel. So going back to my event sheet, you can see that um, I have different, um, whatever object I create, I place it at the point that I want it to be at and then I further um, enhance that by applying the stick extension to the object. So you can see that I stick the info panel to the background, that I stick the objects to the info panel. And including the text as well. So everything is like there. And I always do that just to make sure that you know it functions how I want to. But I have four panels that I have done. And so if I go to preview to test it out to see exactly what happened, give it a moment to load. And you can see that I have the screen. The red bars are not visible. And if I go to the actual scene and move up and down, it can scroll now. And it won't go left and right because the platform behavior and the platform stop it from doing so so basically it's just a scrolling list you can just add items to it however you want to and you can also do it vertically as I'm doing or it can be done horizontally um, by going straight across even though I'm going vertical but you know what I mean by horizontal um, just going dun, 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 straight across the screen alright so uh, that pretty much covers that right there um, very simple tutorial, not that complicated at all. Probably shouldn't even take you 10 minutes to do. So, have fun.